Hello, everybody, and welcome to Poland Daily Travel. I'm standing in front of a castle. That's right. You won't be surprised because there are a lot of castles in Poland and palaces as well. And you know how much I like them. I'm in the town of Kozuchów, uh, from which uh, last night I said goodbye. We're on our way to Zagan now. But I wanted to uh, show you this beautiful view before we hit the road. And after the trailer, we'll be, um, we'll be showing you the, uh, we will be in Zagan, which was home to actually a number of very interesting things. Apart from being an interesting town, Zagan, uh, it was uh, also the site of the famous Stalag in the movie The Great Escape with Steve McQueen, James Garner, and Charles Bronson, and others, Richard Attenborough. It's a great film. Anyway, I just wanted you to see how how tall these walls are, these uh, compared to me. This is really, really good, good me medieval stuff. Okay, so there you have it, from Kozhuhuf. And next time you see me, I will be in Zagan. Okay, so stay tuned. Enjoy the trailer. Welcome back, and we're in Zagan. The sun has found us, and we have found one of Poland's important historical monuments. This is the Church of the Assumption and the Augustinian Monastery. It dates back to 12, uh, uh, the 1200s anyway. 1299 was when Bolesław the Hunchback, I don't know why they call him that, but perhaps he had a hunchback, um, or he just slumped a little bit. But at any rate, uh, he uh, was in charge and gave his castle to the Augustinians. And uh, this church was, uh, it burned a couple of times and then was remodeled by them into the great hall that it is now, which is very, very impressive, especially in this sunlight. Right, so that's the church here. And look at the sun on it. It's beautiful right now, isn't it? It's really come out, these great doors here leading into it substantial stuff and this is this door itself is very old you can tell the the uh, the iron is rusted the door handle is rusted it's been here a long time and almost falling off probably don't use that door anymore now look this is the interior of the monastery look at these old pillars this is holding up these sort of Romanesque arches and that is indeed old stuff, you can tell. And it's being renovated, and it better be renovated or this thing is eventually is gonna fall down. Uh, but they're doing that. So let's come inside and, and look at the courtyard here. And I'll tell you something about it. The existence of the church in 1272 was approved in the historical records. 
but most likely its origin dates back to a much earlier period. But uh, neither the layout nor the shape of the structure, as I was saying, of the 13th century is known. But when the monks took over, they erected this basilica with uh, three aisles and this hall-like uh, structure. After fires in the, uh, 1472 and 1486, the church was restored. Uh, a serious reconstruction took a place again in 1515. They put up the tower and a great western gable, which you can see. That's that great tower there. Yeah. In 1602, they added some more uh, uh, on the western part. There was a fire in 1730, and of course, it was it was restored again. Uh, the sarcophagus of Henry IV, the Duke of Glogov and Zagan, because Glogov is the commanding city around here with its big palace, uh, was, was uh, put in there. And uh, there was a, an altar of the Holy Trinity added. One of the interesting facts about this church, uh, apart from the fact that it burned down and was reconstructed, and it was given by a hunchback to a bunch of monks, which is also, uh, if not interesting, also entertaining, um, is that the first lightning rod was put on the top of the church, the first lightning rod in Poland, uh, which is interesting considering at that time the church would have been a lightning rod of all uh, sort of spiritual thinking and uh, not to mention the community. I mean, it's a commanding building. Imagine what it looked like compared to every other building uh, in, the, in the city back then. After all, Boleslav the Hunchback had given it uh, given his castle to the monks in order to make this thing, uh, in order to uh, create what we see before us now, which is very impressive, I have to say. Good Lord. You often find that the churches look like castles here in Poland, uh, and not just in Poland. But uh, I also wanted to say that, by way of anecdote, that the first science fiction book by one Johannes Kempler was started right here in the monastery. How about that? So the Augustinian complex uh, was given in 1299 by Conrad the Hunchback. It was uh, part of his castle. Um, uh, he had just moved to Zagan. In the 14th century, they did a proper layout. The Augustinians did a proper layout of the monastery uh, and completed it in the second half of the 14th century, uh, where the former uh, Castle the Prince was joined to the complex. You really can't see the join anymore. Um, they also established a library there in the 1300s into the 1400s at the turn of that century. In the second half of the 16th century, the monastery was extended in the Renaissance style. So you see you have a great mixture of styles uh, in this place. And uh, uh, after a great fire in 1730, Part of the buildings were demolished. The north and west wing were expanded and converted into a monastery school. In 1736, they furnished the uh, monastery's library, and this was accompanied by frescoes from the Silesian painter Nuen Herza, G.W. Nuen Herza. The interior of the library is known for its excellent acoustics. Uh, which uh, um, uh, properly formed, uh, due to a properly formed vault, that's the ceiling, and one of the few vaults in the world where, uh, which are called whispering uh, vaults. So you can just talk and still hear, uh, hear what people are saying. Now, uh, this would be great for chance, of course. Yeah, the monastery was closed in 1810. This is during the partitions, and uh, all the most important collections were moved to Wroclaw from the library uh, here. Yeah. In the 19th century, the buildings uh, were part of a parish, an elementary school, a court, a post office, and even a prison. So the whole thing uh, was uh, completely changed uh, by use and was not a monastery at all. Now it forms a parish office and a hotel, and that's it. But it's still being renovated, as you can see. And uh, all of these different mixtures of styles, it is still being renovated and will be, uh, when they finish with it, quite something once again.
as I say, one of the fine historical uh, monuments of Poland. And if you look up at that tower, you can just see PTTK, <laughs> which suggests a, uh, uh, an official Polish uh, office of the, of the local government. And there you are. So that's all we've got for this particular show. See you tomorrow night. Thanks for watching. I'm Will Richardson in Zagan.